I've got a problem. Hmm, I'll rephrase that. I have an issue with storage. I don't have a shed, so I don't have anywhere to store all of my tools and materials. But what I do have is a great space underneath our elevated house where I could store everything except it's really exposed to the weather. So how do I turn this into a usable space that's got at least some degree of weather protection? Well, it's easy. I'm going to build a basic screen. In between the piers, I'll create a frame out of 45 by 90 treated pine, and then to that, I'll mount decking cut into slats all the way up to the top. Now you might be thinking, that's a very specific problem. I don't have it at my place. Well, this project is really easy to modify. You could mount the same thing in between 90 by 90 posts in the garden and use it as a freestanding or a privacy screen. Really simple. So come on, let's have a look. First things first, empty the area out and give yourself a nice safe work zone. Then measure the top, the sides, the bottom and draw yourself a quick sketch with all of the measurements written on. Once you have your timber, set up a level workspace. Then it's measure, mark and cut. I'm fitting my header plate first and notice I've flashed it so water doesn't run up and over. Now clamp it in place, pre-drill it and screw it off. I'm just tidying up the corners of my concrete slab before my base plate goes down. A trick with the plate going onto the slab is to pre-drill it. That way you can fit it in place and drill through with a masonry bit and mark where you need to drill your holes. And hammer in your plugs, cut the tops off, fit your plate and screw down. You'll notice I've flashed the base plate too. Measure and cut your sides and put them in place and use a level against the pier to check that your framing's flush. Use the pre-drilling and marking technique to mount off to the piers. Find your centre at top and bottom, measure, cut a piece of timber to size, clamp it in place and screw it off securely. And it's in with the decking. Here's a handy trick. Lay a number of your slats down flat, clamp them together, measure and mark and then cut them in one go. Position your first slat, clamp it in place, check it's nice and level, pre-drill and screw. From there it's a case of repeat until finished and I bet you're wondering what I'm doing with that slat laid flat. It's the real trick to making this job easy. You use the slat as a spacer. No measuring required. You'll be at the top in no time. I couldn't clamp off my last slat so I'm pre-drilling it before I screw it in place. Well there's my screen pretty much finished. I'm going to do one last thing however. I'm going to give it a coat of paint. Now you'd logically think paint it the same colour as the house or stain it to bring out the natural timber colours. I'm going to do something a bit counterintuitive though. It's a utility screen. I don't want to make a feature of it. It's not like it's sitting in the middle of the garden doing something special for me. I'm going to paint it grey. Now the reason for that is we have all these shadows showing through from underneath the house. If I paint it grey it'll merge together and the whole screen will just disappear. So let's get painting. I've never been afraid to be a stirrer, especially when it comes to paint. And here's the best way to do it. One of these on the end of your drill. It's like a little propeller and it takes all of the hard work out of mixing your paint properly. Use a long nap roller for this sort of painting job and run horizontally and diagonally to get even paint coverage. Finish the gaps and screw heads with a fine brush. How easy was that? A couple of hours, $150, and I've got a 2 metre by 1.8 metre screen. I'll run another one around the other side, and I've got a great space to store all of my tools that's much more weatherproof than it was before.